As an MEP engineer, you'll have the need to create schematics. Many AutoCAD users who don't have MEP will create this through manual methods such as creating blocks, trimming lines out, etc. And here's a typical schematic as shown. This is another schematic as well. So this can take a lot, a lot of time and be quite tedious. And obviously you can't schedule the information out or add intelligence to it. What we can actually do in MEP is we can actually create schematics very, very quickly. I can click on the schematic line. I can specify the system that I want to use. And then I can simply use the simple compass navigation tools to add my schematic detail in. If I look at my tool palette, I can very quickly convert schematic lines um, from normal polylines to lines and arcs. So I can apply the properties to the line work and very quickly convert this information out and delete the original geometry. I can change the style and system in the background very, very easily. Again, looking at the actual system, we can edit the line style in here. It all comes back to the original objects. So I could decide to break the lines, add in filled circles and dots at the ends. What actually happens, you'll see my arc comes into play, and it means if I move the schematic line, the arc will automatically be updated. Again, in traditional CAD, this would take an awful lot of time. But what happens if we want to add a symbol in? Well, we simply go to schematic symbol. We can pick from the wealth of different symbols that's available in the actual library, or we can actually create our own symbols. Well, I'm going to use some symbols from the current drawing. So if I add a pump in, it actually has the intelligence to understand that it breaks the actual schematic line. This makes it very simple if I want to change the pump position or if I need to change the schematic line position as well. Let's add a few more symbols in. So again, I'll take some components from the current drawing, say some heating elements, and a couple pressure tanks. And finally, we'll add in a couple sensors. So if I change any of the positions or flip or move direction, it'll automatically update. Not only that, it obeys the laws of annotation scaling. So if I drop the scale down, it'll, the schematic will change accordingly. This makes it very, very easily. I don't have to make a lot of redrawing on my line work. I can simply copy objects as well. And again, it's obeying normal um, standard AutoCAD features. What happens if we want to annotate any of this information? Again, we can go to annotation and say if we need to add labels into the likes of the system, we can very easily annotate this information. And again, it'll break and automatically update the line. And of course, we can create our own system definitions. We're not just bound to the ones out of the box in MEP. As with all features in MEP, we can actually add in schedule information. So let's have a look at adding a schedule in here. I can simply pick my schedule, schematic symbols in this case, and it will automatically filter my schematic symbols out. The property sets haven't been applied, but I can very quickly do this in the fly by adding the property sets. This simply means as the, auto, as the objects are actually being copied and updated, the schedule will be updated accordingly. And of course, as always, we can add to the property set definition and export this to um, the likes of Microsoft Excel. What happens if we have our own custom symbols? That we want to actually generate. How would we do this? Well I have some customer symbol samples in here and I want to actually generate these. Some of these standard pumps and pressure uh, valves etc would be available in the library. The likes of the crack units for chiller and buffer tanks wouldn't. So I'm going to quit out of this drawing and save it and I'm going to actually recreate this. On my Manix tab I'm going to look at MEP content and I'm going to batch convert the symbols. And as long as the symbols have been created as AutoCAD blocks, we'll be very easily to create these out. So let's create a new conversion script file. We'll browse for the drawing, or we could browse for the set of drawings that we wish to create. We're going to create a new conversion template based on this. And we'll specify the actual parameters. Like, do we want to generate ISO blocks? In this case, yes. Do you want to have them annotatively scaled? Also, how the actual geometry is picked up on, I'm going to use trace geometry here. And we're simply going to actually generate this out. So we'll give it a conversion script name, and again, all this will be created automatically. Hit generate. This will generate the blocks and symbols for us, and we'll close out. We just need to give the symbol file an actual location, so I'm going to save this to my default MEP location. 
which is contained in my content directory. So we'll have a look in some UK styles. Just under MEP content, UK, and we'll look at the schematics. And we'll give this a name here. I'm going to call this customer samples. And we'll generate. It'll take each block in turn and we'll actually generate the appropriate symbol for it. Once that's finished, we simply hit close. And let's test this out by creating a new drawing. So we'll create a new drawing based on the standard ACB model metric. So let's create a few standard schematic lines. Then have a look at our schema schematic symbols from our customer library. So we can go to the standard library, see our customer symbols, and we can actually bring them in. So if we were looking for a chiller unit, we could very easily bring this in and use our various snap and orientation tools to bring those details in. Again, these are available isometric. So if I select one of the lines and go add selected, we can swap this out to um, isometric views. So I can use my standard isometric views, my control E to change the direction, to add these symbols in. So now if I have a look at my symbol equipment, and change it from ortho to isometric, you'll see that the isometric elements actually apply. So very, very easily without applying a lot of input and effort, it's converted out normal AutoCAD blocks to isometric elements. Using schematic symbols in MEP saves you an awful lot of time and effort over traditional 2D CAD methods because they have a level of intelligence that can be scheduled that you can apply to the schematic line on the symbol itself. But not only that, you can actually convert out your existing blocks very easily.